بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله وسلم على محمد عبد الله hello everybody this is my third lecture about MSP managing successful programs in this lecture I just want to talk about one thing what is the definition of program in the mind of MSP how MSP think about the concept of program generally speaking program in any discipline, in any uh, body of knowledge, such as PMI, Project Management Institute, they define program as a group of projects coordinated to achieve a certain objective. However, we have a different definition in MSP. I will not write it. I don't want to write it, just writing it. I want to analyze it, think about it carefully. I want you to change your mind how to think about program, okay? So, what is the meaning of program? Program is flexible, temporary, temporary, this is the first word, temporary. What's temporary? It's had end date. I know the deadline. So, I need to increase my sales to 10%. No, 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 I need to increase the sales by 10% in 2016. Look what I say. First of all, I'm not talking about CRM, Customer Relationship Management. I'm not talking about systems. I'm not talking about people. I'm talking about benefit. So, the first thing I want to talk about is Temporary, I want to realize something very clear to me within a specific period of time, very clear, very, very straightforward to me. Not for me only, we will see later to me and to all the people working with me, especially stakeholders, I'm talking about stakeholders. So temporary, something we know the end of it before I know the start of it, I know what I want to achieve in a specific period of time. Second is flexible. What's the flexible? I need to realize 10% increase in sales. The way of realizing that could be changed. Why? Because the environment changing. Programs usually take more than two or three years. Everything changed in two or three years. Look at yourself three years ago. Now you have babies before you don't have. So within three years, lots of, lots of things change. So we can change many things, but we never change the, the benefit, the target benefit, the aim of our program. Otherwise, the program will be cancelled. This is not as project management. Project, project management, it's catastrophic to change anything. Project management, we have a scope, clear scope, no scope creep accepted, no scope change accepted, scope is fixed. You need to achieve this scope within a specific period of time, regardless of anything happening in the world. Otherwise, you need to have a lot of procedures, like Prince2, read about Prince2 or PMP, and you see it's not easy at all to change anything in the project. Why? Because it's the building block of the program. If anything is changed, without the whole system understand that, it will be pulled down. Projects never change, program usually change. Program flexible in everything except the benefits realized from it. Temporary, flexible, organization. So it's mainly an organization. It's created. Created, why it's created? Why? Simply to Why it's created? It's created to coordinate direct and oversee coordinated direct and oversee of what? of projects and activities so
So you sit an organization. What's the meaning of organization? Group of people working together. Okay? And system, you can say system of thinking. Okay, can be very flexible, created to do what? To coordinate, direct, and oversee. So the, our first function is coordination. Second function is to direct everything. The third function is to supervise, to oversee what's going on. Oversee, direct, coordinate what? Projects. Not only projects, but activities. Take care of the word activities. Uh, in MSB is not only set of projects, but also activities. Why do we need activities? Activities could be proceeds. Why? Because there is a marriage process between what's going on the process and what's intervention in the process. So there are projects and activities. We will see later what is the meaning of activities. Why? Why do we do all of that? Simply speaking, to deliver strategic objectives. So this is what we can sometimes call it benefits. So all MSB is about benefits. If MSB achieves the scope without achieving the benefits, it's failed. Simply like this. Program comes to achieve benefits, not any tangible things that we can call it scope. It's not scope, it's benefit. That's why it's very big difference between project and program. Project, we can call project successful if it's implemented on time, on cost, and the required scope. However, we never call the program succeeded if it's a shift the scope of it on time and on cost without realizing the benefits of it. So we have to think about it. We talk about benefits. So if we compare between project and the program in one word, this is project, this is program. Project mainly about output. Program mainly about outcome. We talked about it the last picture. Outcome, output, and output, and output lead to outcome. Outcome, sometimes I prefer to call it capability, which enables me to do something. Usually, project will not help you to achieve capability. So implementing URB does make a sense. Without it, people know how to use it. Implementing Six Sigma is nothing as long as people resist to it. So if people doesn't love what you do, it does make a sense. You have to think about it. And don't talk about, I'm not talking only about managing attitude, managing perceptions of people. But also, I'm talking about managing everything. Usually, people hate what they do not know. So when they understand what's going on, they may love what you do. But this is not sufficient. It's necessary. Yes, it's necessary, but it's not sufficient. So this is the idea of MSP. MSP mainly about this definition. So the next lecture, inshallah, we will talk about the framework. What is the framework of MSP? The ideas, the principles, the governance of it, the transformation of law, how we can transform the business. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik, ashadu anna la ilaha illa anta, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.